Hi everyone, it's a little after 4.30 and this is your 190th video and it's my closing comment. Uh, this is the 10-day intraday chart on the S&P and as you can see we continue to rally up. Uh, we hit a high today of uh, 28.46. Uh, actually that was yesterday's high. 86 came down this morning uh, and overnight and tried to make it back to the upside and just simply couldn't do it. Uh, while this is an area of some significant support, uh, a look at the uh, daily chart will give you a little better uh, look at it. Uh, as I said in last night's closing comment, this morning's opening comment, and we'll say again now, this is an area of some substantial resistance. Uh, there is good support all the way down. This is around 2,700, and there is major support down here around 2,650. And so based on that, I think we could come in further. Uh, today was uh, just a slightly higher high and uh, lower low. Uh, so we avoided the uh, inside day, but nonetheless, we really didn't have a lot of action today. I mean, once we uh, came down, we pretty much stayed there the whole day. Uh, I also want to show you the chart of the oil. As you know, we are uh, short the oil by virtue of being uh, in the SCO, which is an inverse ETF on the oil. So looking at the oil here, you can see we actually made a new low. Uh, we actually also closed slightly higher on the day, uh, but I'm not so certain that there's any chance at all that we can get through 23, 23 and a half. Uh, without first testing the area around $17. This is the very long-term chart, and the area we're talking about is right here. Uh, the low in here was uh, pretty close to today's low. This is uh, actually 1712. So uh, we have a ways to go, and there's support all through the 17, 17 and a half dollar range. Uh, so uh, I'm pretty much still negative on it. As far as the indexes go, the Dow closed down 445 after being down 716. But as I said, most of the day was spent between uh, minus about 350 and 450 to 500. Uh, the S&P had a low of down 87. It closed down only 62 and change. And uh, there was uh, kind of a strange discrepancy within the financials. Uh, we went into the day short the Goldman Sachs, which reported poor earnings down 49%. And the stock traded all the way down to 169 and change. We sold our 170s for three and a half, uh, making a small profit on it. Uh, but Goldman turned up and actually uh, went all the way to up on the day at 181. Those options closed about a uh, buck and a half. Uh, the discrepancy was with J.P. Morgan, who reported yesterday, and even though the Goldman Sachs bounced today, J.P. Morgan did not. It was down about four and a half dollars. Uh, the gold was also lower moving towards, but not quite far enough, the 1700 level. Um, I would be a buyer in that 1680 to 1700 level. Have a good evening. I'll be back in the morning.